In this video, you will see how to create an Air Export loading guide. To begin, enter the Air Export module. There are two options to create a loading guide from this module. First, you can click on the Loading Plan Guide link. The system will then take you to the list screen of all the loading guides you've previously created, where you can create a copy by right-clicking and selecting Copy, or go ahead and click on the new icon to create a new record. Once you're within the new record, you'll either need to enter in your shipment number or click on your booking uh, number as well and pull, to pull that information over. So I have here a sample shipment. We'll go ahead and click there. Once you hit tab, the system will populate all the information needed for the loading guide from your booking or previously created shipment. At this point, I'm going to right click to add cargo details. If you have a D container or any equipment numbers you'd like to go ahead and enter, feel free to do so at this time. Once you're ready to load warehouse receipts for the shipment, go ahead and click on load warehouse receipts. The system will now prompt you the warehouse linking screen. Notice that it already brought me some warehouse receipts as an available match. Reason being because these warehouse receipts have a destination of Frankfurt and the shit shipment I'm working on also has that destination declared so it finds any possible matches. I'll go ahead and select all of these warehouse receipts to link it to my consolidation shipment. However, you have the ability to search for any warehouse receipt you'd like to pull it over here. You can also search by consignee, destination, or any one of these filters. Once you've searched and selected your transactions, the system will give you total warehouse linked and total pieces linked as well. Go ahead and click link selected warehouses to continue. My three warehouse receipts are now loaded onto this shipment. Once I click OK, those warehouse receipts will not be available for any other user to link to another shipment. Go ahead and save my transaction. And at this point, I can go ahead and print out my documentation for my warehouse personnel to know what they need to start picking and prepare for this shipment. Go ahead and click on the load plan section and select the loading guide form. Once you click on preview, the system will go ahead and launch you that loading guide with the shipment details, warehouse information, down to the pieces or pallets that need to be picked and loaded for the shipment. In the print preview screen, you'll always have these features you see here. Now that I've completed my loading guide and printed out my pick list for my warehouse, it's time to move on to create my house and my master. In the event of a consolidation, these are the icons you will see here. Should this be a direct shipment, you will only see the create direct icon. Let's go ahead and click on create house. First thing I'm going to do is tell the system in the manner of which I would like my houses to be generated. The system currently defaults to manual, but I'd like to go ahead and select the option by consignee. It will then split my warehouse receipts by consignee, as you see here, and create one house airway bill per consignee. Should I like to create one per warehouse receipt, I can just simply select the option warehouse. Let's stick to select option C. Click on Select All, and then click Generate Shipment. The system will ask if you'd like to bring any unbilled charges. That way you can invoice your customer from a single standpoint at the end of the shipping process. Now you'll see the system has generated both my house airway bills for each of my consignees along with my master. At this point I can enter in these transactions, fill out any remaining information, and cut my airway bill documents.